the seated row. Right, let me say one thing real quickly. If you're in the gym and you just don't know how to use any equipment, look over to your left or right, you should see a description. All gym equipments have descriptions on them. Have a quick read or take your time and read it or just look at the pictures and just know where it's working. Then you can use that information to start the exercise and just get something out of it. If you're really stuck, then you may ask someone for help, but the description is always there for a reason. Have a read and take your time to seep in that information. Let's begin this up. I wanna quickly say, don't ever feel discouraged or don't get put off when you feel like the bench is just not moving. As you can see here, the bench is struggling to move it only means the gym equipment may be wary or faulty or it may just be an older gym equipment it's not you it's the equipment just pay more attention on trying to get it up like i said don't ever feel embarrassed you're here to collect and make your gains forget who's looking yes it may take a bit longer to set up but make sure you set up properly and take your time the principle is always the same Pull up the yellow lever and the bench moves up and down freely. Once you let go, it locks into place, but always double check. Once the bench is set up, we're gonna go straight into the chest pad. The chest pad allows comfort onto the chest as you are rowing. You wanna aim to set it in a way where you have a slight bend in your arm when you're reaching over to row. So there should be a slight bend in your arm. If it's too far out, you won't reach it. If it's too close, you will not get an efficient contraction in those working muscles. So what muscles are we talking about? So we have the latimus dorsi, known as the lats, the large two muscles on the sides of the back. We have the rhomboids, the middle section of the back, and we have the trapezius, the upper part of the back as well, connected to the neck. So you must be using that mind to muscle connection and set it up efficiently. Then always make sure the weight is at the lightest weight. Humble, humble, humble yourselves. Safety first. Now you're ready to take a seat, chest out, back straight, strong and proud. Lean into that chest pad so your chest is resting directly onto the pad. We don't need to worry about the 90 degree angle on the legs, it's fine. Just make sure there's a slight bend in the leg once you are setting yourself up. So this machine has two starting points. It has the narrow grip and the wider grip. We are going to start the narrow grip, so in between the supinated and the pronated grip. So, with this machine, imagine cutting through something. So chest out, back straight, arms cutting through the back. That's the best way to use that mind to muscle connection and you know, getting those working, engaging muscles involved. Once your elbows are well behind your back, it means your back is in a contracted state. That's when you wanna squeeze as tight as possible. Rep range is anywhere between eight to 12 reps for three sets. I wish I could make you stay, cause baby I love you. Here is another demonstration of the wider grip, so the slight handle above. One of the important key factors when doing the wider grip is to watch out for your wrists. Try and keep them neutral at all times. Yes, this unique movement may feel awkward at first, but over time, you, your body, will adapt to it over time. So keep going, keep striving, and keep pushing through. Why are you trying to break us up? When I'm trying to build it up. I wish I could make you stop. Cause baby, I love 